Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Plane Accident. It has been a while since we have checked out this game. It was released as a demo originally that we played on the channel, and now it was released a couple months ago, and I wanted to wait for some updates to come out before we jumped into it. So we have a tutorial that we have to go through. I'm going to go ahead and knock this out. That's a nice looking pickup truck, if I do say so myself and uh, then we'll get started. All right, we have completed our training, so we're here out on our first case. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, grab our backpack. We're gonna need that for sure. Uh, and we need to find the wreckage. I hear something over here, like fire, which I don't like that, but we have our fire extinguisher on us, that's for sure. Oh Lord, we got a uh, air tractor here that's down. That is definitely the problem. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put these flames out here with our fire extinguisher. Get on out of there, get on out of there. Holy crap, dude. Okay, those fires take a little bit to, to get out. Oh, don't catch, catch myself on fire here. And these over here as well. There we go. All right, cool. That's all good to go. Man, this looks like a absolute mess, if you ask me. Uh, what's over here? More flames? Yep, that's what it was. Check the condition of the victim. Oh, there's a person in here. Oh my God, dude, are you okay? Hey, can you hear me, dude? Hello? Oh, that looks bad. That looks bad. Can you move? He's alive. Somehow, some way, he's alive. I'm um, not sure what we can do other than... Oh, we move him ourselves. Okay. So, I don't think he's in great shape. We need to call for medical assistance. That's what we're going to do. So, we're calling 112 now. The pilot is alive. Call for help. He's getting transported by an ambulance in a cutscene. Okay, he's been transported, so let's go ahead and secure the wreckage here. We need to go ahead and put our little sticks down, like we like to do, and kind of secure this whole area for the most part. So we got this here, and we got this here. All right, and uh, over here as well. And we'll get that whole tape all set up like we have there. Mark all the elements of the wreckage. All right, let's do that. We got a propeller over here for sure. We're going to mark that. Um, anything else that fell off this airplane that we can find? We're going to have to use our drone. You know that already. Yeah, see, like, this is part of it. That's part of it. These are all pieces of the airplane and uh, are going to be very important for our investigation. So, land man, the landing gear landed all the way over here, too. I'm trying to think how that would have happened. That uh, is not good at all. What's this over here? More pieces of the airplane? Yep. You better believe it. Uh, we'll probably get the old drone up. Here's one of the um, one of the apparatuses to uh, put out the put the chemicals out. I see a propeller over here. I'm gonna go ahead and mark that. That went flying off this way. Uh, there are two more things that uh, we need. All right, we'll scan for parts now, and uh, we'll start in zone one. That's kind of nearby where the truck is located. Found something else nearby in zone three and zone four where we're actually standing. We're gonna check that out now. So we found the nose gear it was laying over here. That's one of the pieces that was missing. And then the other one is over way over here. That is probably right there. Yep, there it is. The other blade of the prop. So we've got all of that. Now we need to get the photographic documentation of everything. Uh, so we will do that next. Grab the camera out here. Walk into the little spot here and see if there's anything uh, we need to take a picture of that we haven't already. All right, one picture there of the plane. Come over to this spot here. You have to get it just right to where it turns red. There we go, got a picture there. And we'll go over here into the field. So this tank needs a picture right there and then probably this piece of wreckage on the ground as well. That's a important one. And there we go. We got all the pictures there. Order the wreckage to be transported. So call the technicians for that. And they'll come pick up all our stuff and take it to the hangar. So we can try to piece this whole thing together. And now it is time to solve the case. And we have a van showing up to take all the pieces away. And here is the airplane in our hangar with all the pieces that we recovered in the field. And we need to go get all the documents here and try to put this whole thing together and see what happened. Start with the case files here. And we've got a uh, place of incident in Cloverdale. Type of aircraft is the Air Duster 205. Flight data recorder. Yes, it does have one. Flight route was uh, spraying on the farm in Cloverdale. One passenger, zero victims. Pilot was Fred, Crazy Fred, Balware. Description of the event. Crazy Fred, a farmer from Cloverdale, took off in his Air Tractor 502 and was spraying his cornfield. Suddenly, without any apparent reason, the plane started to descend. 
Thanks to the pilot's experience, he was able to make an emergency landing. Okay, gotcha. So let's go check out the tech log here and see what we've got with that. Uh, the maintenance record from June, there was a problem with the radiator, but I fixed it with gray tape. Probably not the best uh, there. I attached new spray tanks. Now one flight and everything will be sprayed. March, I installed the black box. They can ask why. I tell them that I can. Uh, engine regeneration, fluid replacement, hydraulic system inspection. No other repairs were performed. The owner has been informed about the poor technical condition of the aircraft. Inspection and repairs carried out by Stanley Woodson. And there's their license number so we can call them. Uh, the engine was running worse and worse. I've looked at it, but I don't know what's wrong. I have to take it to Stanley. And then on the 24th of July, I fixed the throttle because it was sticking. Now it sounds great. So that's the tech log. Let's look at the uh, flight log here of our pilot uh, from May. I'm still flying over the fields. If all goes well, I have sprayed the entire cornfield in two weeks. Okay, it's time for vegetable spraying with the new tanks. It even goes faster. So the new tanks seem to be something in of interest here. Um, I went to the Fairmont Fair. I ate some delicious food, maybe too much. Now I have a stomach ache. Okay, I'm um, checking the plane is good is in good condition. It would be helpful if Stanley could look at it. Um, I flew to Fairmont with some bigger shopping. Everything is working fine. Look at our photos here from the evidence. And we have the pictures of the wreckage there. Um, we've got the airplane in the ground. We can see that. And there's the tank. Uh, and it's not an original part of the airplane. We know that it was added later on. Uh, and there you go. The photo doesn't add anything to case on that. So now we can go ahead and look at the witnesses, see if they saw anything in the area. We got Sergeant Kowalski uh, saying this. What a break. I managed to determine that the witness to the accident was neighbor Mike. Perhaps his testimony will be helpful. Okay, we got a phone number for him. Uh, Mr. Fred Balware was admitted to our hospital in critical condition and has not regained consciousness yet. When his condition improves, I will inform you by email. Okay, so he's still in the hospital, not uh, doing so well. Let's get uh, all this stuff out here and try to make sense of all of this. Let's use the phone, call the witnesses. Uh, we'll start with Mechanic Stanley, see what he said. This plane was held together with duct tape. Inspections? What inspections? As long as something was working, it was working. And when it broke down, Fred fixed it himself. I don't know why, but Fred insisted on having a black box in the airplane. So I helped him install it. Maybe there will be some information on it. And neighbor Mike says, I was sitting on the porch and watching Crazy Fred fly over the cornfield. At one point, the plane went straight down to the ground. Luckily, Fred is a good pilot and somehow managed to land. Maybe it's because of those huge tanks he attached to the plane himself. I told him, just like a friend, that with those big tanks, he won't go far. To me, it's kind of a CG issue um, with the the tanks. All right, so we have more information now. We have the black box is a thing, and we have a scanner uh, for that. So there you go. Reconstruct the wreckage of the plane. Uh, okay, so that's what we have to do. Put everything uh, back where it, it goes. I'm going to grab the power tool here, and we want to get that black box off this airplane. We can find it. It's probably on a hatch right back here. Yes, it was. Awesome. We'll put this on uh, probably number eight, I would believe. That, nope, not eight. That's not where it goes. It goes over here. Sweet. The hatch is right there, and we need to remove that black box so we can find it. Are you? Oh, no. It's a tank back here. Okay, so that's not the hatch I'm looking for. Let's go up in here and see if we can uh, Okay, remove the seat. All right, I'm taking the seat out so we can get to that flight recorder, and we'll put the seat on number eight over here. That works for me. And we will grab the flight recorder, and I'll show you how that station works. Oh, he's got pills in here. That's not good. That's not good. He's got medication. And now the plot thickens. So let's put this here on that and now we can use this and try to decode what happened all right so to do this we're going to make the waveform shorter and then now we're going to extend it all right let's listen in Well, it sounds like uh, the airplane did not want to fly. That's what it sounded like to me. So now we have to reconstruct the wreckage of the plane, send the vial for analysis, and receive the email about it. So let's get this vial out here. This is going for analysis to see what the heck it was. And to do that, we'll come over here to this box, throw it in the box, take the box, we'll send it off to the courier, and we'll find out what the heck those pills are. There you go. Sweet. All right, we have more 
evidence here. So new evidence was the pills. We've added that now. So it's starting to come together. We've got something on the email, it looks like. Let's see what this is. So the recording decoded successfully. Reading result, during the flight, the engine stopped functioning. The probable cause was fuel depletion. Recommendations, check the fuel level. Okay, so check the fuel level in the aircraft's tank. Got it. Outbox, nothing in there. Okay, cool. We're good. All right, propeller. We'll put that back on here. Let's put the tail wheel back on the airplane here. There we go. And I'm going to put all these parts back on the airplane where they belong. So it all makes sense to us. And uh, so maybe it's not a CG issue. Maybe it was indeed uh, the problem with the fuel that we had going on. Low battery. All right, we got to get a new battery here. All right, uh, battery. There we go. Get a new battery for this thing. Put the chair back in there. And now we'll put the other landing gear and the hatch and everything else on here. There we go, like that. The tank shield, interesting. So here's the tank shield that goes right there, which is kind of strange how he had that attached to it there. Uh, and then the tank, the spray tank itself goes right back here. So this is what he added on to the airplane. Uh, and as we can see, it is a very shoddy job. Put the hatch back on the plane, which is very poorly put together as well. And we'll put the sprinkler back on back here, right there. There we go. And now we can make a scan of the wreckage and try to figure out uh, what happened with it there. Over here, get this scanner. We'll uh, scan the surface here and see what that does. Oh, what amazing technology we have here in plane accident. We have an email that's arrived. We need to check the inbox. Okay, let's see what they had to say about the pills. Oh, this isn't about the pills. This is about the scan. So aircraft surface scan. The scan showed that the additional crop spray tanks did not affect aircraft's payload capacity and were not the cause of the accident. So there you go. The tank wasn't the problem. All right, so let's put uh, this up here and we'll put this one over here on out of fuel. And now we have to check the fuel gauge in the cockpit. All right, we'll sit in here and we'll go ahead and do this and that. The fuel indicator shows that the tank is half full. Confirm that with the fuel tester. Okay, gotcha. So the fuel tester was over there on the table. We'll use that. Check the aircraft blueprint to find the location of the fuel tanks. Well, I already know where they're at. Um, They're going to force us to do it, so never mind. I was like, I know this airplane. I know where they're at. Um, But looking at this... Yep, fuel tank right back here. Okay, cool. Yeah, we, we knew that. Uh, check the fuel level with the fuel tester in the tank. We have three of them, so there's probably one uh, on the fuselage and then two on the wings, I'd imagine. Uh, oh, we need to move that hatch. So let's go ahead and just do the wings first while we're doing that. And I'm gonna have to get my power tool to get that hatch back off there. All right, let's go ahead and grab the power tool here and we'll remove that hatch so we can get to the fuel tank in the back. There we go. This goes over here, back on the ground. I'll have to put that back together in a minute, but uh, that's okay. Fuel tester again. And now we can get the sample out of the fuselage here. So the fuel tank was empty. Uh, received the box and the email with the examination results. Okay, for the vial. Let's see what happened with the vial here. Uh, grab that and put it over here there we go and put this on the counter there sweet and we'll put this back we need to put that hatch back on we have just enough battery i think it'll work yep perfect sweet had enough for one so let's call the mechanic now and see what they have to say after all of that mechanic stanley uh, fuel gauge not working, showing the wrong value? Very likely. Agricultural machines aren't subject to mandatory inspections. I suspect that half of the systems were faulty and barely holding up. Uh-oh. All right, sweet. So we now know that. Let's put that over there. Indicator was not working. Um, in here, we've got University Institute of Chemistry and Physics. Hello, we have analyzed the substance provided, and we can confidently state that it contained ordinary aspirin. The powders could not have had any impact on the pilot's psychomotor skills. Best regards. Okay, there you go. So it was just aspirin. Um, nothing huge there. So throw that on there. Common aspirin. Sweet. We have a new email. Uh, who's this one from? From St. Mary Hospital. Uh, good morning. I wanted to inform you that Mr. Fred Balware has regained consciousness and his condition allows for questioning. Best regards. Uh-oh. So now we can call up him. And maybe you can tell us what he saw. I feel weak. I don't know what happened. Was there not enough fuel? The gauge hasn't worked for a year, but I always refueled with 
200 gallons of fuel and it was enough. This time, my new employee Pedro refueled the plane. Oh, so Pedro's thrown in the mix. Let's give him a call. I speak English little, si senor. I tank airplane as senior Alfredo said, 200 liters. Liters? Pedro filled up with 200 liters instead of 200 gallons of fuel. Well, that would do it. That would definitely do it. Okay, let's put that clue on there and put the clues on the board. Anything else there? Yep, we got that. 200 liters. Establish the cause of the accident on the board. Well, I mean, it's easy to say uh, this was fine. That 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 was fine. Fred's fine. And then Pedro. And this was the problem. There you go. We solved it just like that explanation of the cause of the crash crazy fred modified his plane and installed additional spray tanks however it had no impact on the crash it turned out that the cause of the disaster was the poor grasp of the english language by the employee pedro he misunderstood fred's instructions instead of pouring 200 gallons into the tank he filled it with 200 liters of fuel the damaged fuel gauge did not alert the pilot that he was running out of fuel which led to the plane's descent we know that the fuel gauge wasn't working and you saw what the uh, the mechanic had to say about that. So there you go. Um, Crazy Fred, he wasn't bothered by the accident. He stated that apparently it wasn't his time yet. He bought a new plane that he still personally pilots. However, this time he takes better care of its technical condition. Well, I would hope so after all of what we saw. Pedro, in his anger, Fred fired him from his job and wanted to press charges. However, he quickly remembered that Pedro was employed illegally. Uh-oh. Ultimately, a week after returning from the hospital, he rehired Pedro to avoid similar mistakes. He invested in an English language course for his employee. Well, there you go. So we had a happy ending after all. All right. Well, that is going to do it for this one. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. If you want to see more of it, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.